Hey, Matt, thanks for taking time out of your busy day and coming on. Thanks for having me, man. I'm excited. So you've been in the crypto space for a while, also the NFT space. What got you into the crypto space in general? Like what was the catalyst to kind of get you into that? Uh, so for me personally, I've, I've been investing for quite some time. I would say like over 10 years um, and traditionally in the stock market. But then when you know I saw crypto start booming, I heard more about Bitcoin. One of my friends actually does Bitcoin mining. He's one of the bigger uh, mining companies in the U.S. So he got me interested in it. And then I started researching it and learning more about it. And I think typical journey for a lot of people is the same journey that I've had. I started with Bitcoin, then got more interested in like Ethereum and then altcoins. And next thing you know, it's led to NFTs. And you just kind of dive deeper and deeper, deeper into the scene once you're interested in it. What was the catalyst for NFTs? Was there a particular sort of project, a particular person? What was that thing where it was kind of like that tipping point for you? I, I, I don't even know what the if there was a, a, a exact moment when I was like, oh, I, I got to get into NFTs. I think it just was like the natural progression of I, I started looking at altcoins more. And then you start learning about things like Sandbox and um, Decentraland. And then you realize that those things are heavily involved in NFTs. And then you start looking about NFTs. And one thing led to another. And I'm like, wow, NFTs are like the most extreme version of an altcoin or a crypto, right? They're like faster paced, more risk higher reward. It's like the extreme uh, version of any cryptocurrency is what I would say. So I think for that reason, it's really enticing to some of the younger people. And and myself, I was interested in about the fact that uh, like there's so much money involved in a space that's so new and so hard to understand for a lot of people. But when you actually kind of grasp why the things have value, it's kind of it's kind of cool that um, you're one of the first people to be involved in something that's like such a new technology. So you've got your sort of your channel, which is um, large, it's booming, it's moving. And um, a video that I kind of liked that you put up, and it was very good because it was very transparent, was like how you were kind of earning and how things were kind of moving on YouTube. What are you trying to get from the YouTube channel, uh, apart from sort of any monetary aspect? What are you trying to put out there for people to see? And in turn, that with the alpha group. So for, for the channel, the, the main purpose to me was uh, I should back up. I've been doing YouTube for 12 years. Uh, I've had a bunch of different channels. I started with a gaming channel, which a lot of people actually started founding my new channel from the gaming channel. Um, but I, I've done a bunch of different channels over the course of the years. And, and this new channel for Matt's Crypto, uh, the purpose here was that I, I really love the space and I loved all the things that I was learning and all of the kind of benefits I think that come with investing in crypto or in NFTs. Um, you know, kind of building your personal finance, building your personal wealth, and it just having, it's a little more of an exciting way to kind of invest for your future, I think. So I wanted to share things that I was learning and things that I was doing that were working well with other people to help them as well. Uh, Cause I'd have a lot of friends ask like, yo, like I know you're, you know, you invest in Bitcoin and it seems like it's doing really well. Like, can you tell me about it? And I was like, I should just start making videos for all people my age, my peers, people that are interested in learning about this kind of thing to help them with their journey um, in the same way that I would I would have had help learning in my you know my experience. So that was the idea for Matt's crypto, and then obviously it's become uh, it, it's it's doing pretty well. Uh, people seem to really like the content and seem to get a lot of help out of it. So I, I continue to do that, and then. What I realized is that a lot of people on the channel would ask a bunch of the same questions and, and really wanted to know more and learn more and talk to me more, uh, which is kind of hard to do on YouTube just through comments. So I decided to make the Patreon uh, alpha group that I have that is kind of geared towards more of the hardcore people that are in the space that we can talk pretty much all day long on Discord. We can share projects. We can uh, like, you know, do strategies together, have calls about things that are going on, kind of help each other in the space and, and help everyone out that that's in our community. And so far that's worked really well. We have some amazing people in the group that I like have made me a lot of money and made me grow and made, you know, help me learn certain things. So that's kind of the whole point of that. And it's been, uh, it's been great to see outside of YouTube, like having that kind of deeper connection with people. One thing that I kind of know that you're big on is like sort of the data recording. So I've seen your spreadsheets, I've seen all of that kind of stuff and you go heavy and hard on that. Where does that come from? I, I think one of my, one of my strengths is, is organization and, uh, and especially in math. Uh, so like just the spreadsheets are really I've always loved like putting together spreadsheets to kind of analyze situations when you can with numbers. So I feel like this has kind of been a perfect storm of, of being able to do that and having it be valuable to people in some way. Um, so like, yeah, I do have a lot of different spreadsheets that I that I put together for 
data analysis. And, and actually, one of the things that I, I really want to do is make an NFT portfolio tracker, which has been very difficult to do. It's not easy to do on a, on a Google spreadsheet. Uh, but we're working on a platform that actually kind of puts that together. But yeah, I think I think I've always just loved math. Um, and I've, I've also loved finance and I've loved technology. And so it's like, all three of those things are perfectly fit into this basket of crypto and NFTs and in this new industry. So I'm like, I'm really, really enjoying it because I like all three of the, you know, kind of areas that it touches on already. I guess this is a really good segue because you've got um, a new sort of product platform NFT hub. Has that come about from your journey where you're push where you're trying to get information from, but also the information and the stuff that you're hearing in the alpha group and the same kind of troubles and dilemmas that they're having? Yeah. It's the way that this came together is I feel like it's just fitting because I was on Discord at about 3 a.m. just answering messages, talking to people, and someone from my Patreon group messaged me and said, hey, I know you've been really looking to put together a portfolio tracker that does what your spreadsheet does in a more automated way. So basically, you connect your wallet to an application that downloads all of your transactions, your all your fees, all your royalty fees, all your trades, whatever it is, ins and outs and lays out for you, hey, this is how much you've made in the NFT space, this is how much you've lost, how much you've spent on gas, how much you've spent on fees, everything you wanna know about your portfolio, and to give you an idea of like where your portfolio is at. What is it worth right now? If you sold everything at floor price, what would it be worth? Uh, that's a tool that I personally think is super, super valuable that no one has made yet, or that at least that I haven't found out on, you know, out on the internet yet that works well. And so this guy came to me and said, hey, we put together the tool that you were talking about, check it out. And so I checked it out and um, it just so happened that they are building an entire website that is, I call it a platform because I think it's more of a platform than a website, but they're building a, a platform that has a bunch of different tools that are amazing and exactly what I need day to day to do NFT trades, flips, investing and stuff like that. So um, I, I asked the guy, I was like, hey, do you want to partner in this? Because this is this is like, you guys are already building something that I think is really, really valuable and has... What basically a dozen different websites do pretty well on their own, all in one spot. Um, and that was something that I was interested in building at some point this year, later this year, just didn't know how to do it. And then these guys kind of just came came to me right through the community. And uh, next thing you know, we've teamed up and we're working on the project together. Cool. Just to kind of spin it up and kind of flip it around a little bit. What are some projects that you've looked at that you just kind of want to have in a collection, almost like a secret collection, just so I can kind of get an idea and a gauge mm. of what kind of like degen you are at heart <laughs> um man just just ones that i just want to hold forever yeah I, I really i really like um frontier frontier game or uh, watcher missing watcher they have like two different two different names uh there's a game they're developing and there's like a lore behind it i've held their their stuff for a while um they're kind of smaller, I would say. Like they're not they're not super well known, but they're they're developing a game, and I don't know why. I just I love I love the art, I love the uh, the team behind it, and the way they've unfolded things and their creativity. I, I guess I should should give some background that uh, my day job, I guess you could say, is I own a production company with my brother that we started a couple years ago, and I've always been like I said a YouTuber and also done like a lot of film and production. So when I see projects that have really good cinematography or really good, uh, like, you know, video or, I mean, I guess art generally, but um, I, I, there's a special place in my heart for those projects because that's like the background I come from. So I can really easily identify like, hey, this is like, this is some really, really amazing stuff they're building here. And I, I've saw, I've seen that with Frontier. I, I will give one example of a PFP project that I just found. I, I was going through, uh, like, I, I do about 100 reviews of projects a week, I would say. My, my group basically sends them in and says, hey, like, can you check out this project? And I do pretty in-depth reviews of, of most of them if they're worthy. And after doing all those, the last project in the list was this one called Rubber Duck Bath Party, which I love the name, first of all. It's a little long, but I love the name. And it was such a refreshing look after looking at like 60 other projects that were just truthfully like they were crap. They weren't, they weren't very good looking. And then I saw this one and I was like, man, this one's... There's like not a lot to it. There's really no roadmap. There's really no like obvious utility, but for whatever reason, I just feel like the team behind it and the simplicity of it makes me want to buy one. And I can't tell you, it's like this gut feeling. I'm like, it reminds me of Cool Cats, which I also thought was very similar at the beginning. I was like, I don't understand where the value is here. Like it's such a simple looking art piece. 
But I mean, Cool Cats is Cool Cats now, right? So um, this project feels similar. I'm not saying it's going to be anything like Cool Cats, but I, I think the team's really good. They're no, like they're a notable team, and the art's simple, and the vibe is is just really positive in the Discord from what I've seen so far. So I'd say that's one project that I'm like, I, I just want to buy one. I just want to have one. So Matt, I can see in the background there is a gold YouTube plaque, which is um, something that a lot of people <laughs> strive for. So apart from NFTs, crypto. Where do you kind of creep on YouTube and who do you like kind of like watching and following Ooh. when it's not around here? Well, cur I mean, currently, truthfully, uh, some of the ones I watch, them, uh, it's tough because I, I watch a lot of finance content. Um, I, I got to give a shout out to, to at least Millennial Money. It's it's four YouTubers. It's Graham Steven, uh, Andre Jick, Meet Kevin, and Jeremy from Financial Education. Those guys, between the four of them, you get a really good... Um, coverage of all areas of finance they're each pretty good in their own respect like some are good at real estate finance uh like like uh, financial education stocks cryptocurrency they're great at articulating all of their opinions in a like really good debate so i i always enjoy watching them but outside of finance i would say um the impulsive podcast i like to watch it keeps it gives you a good pulse on the scene and what's going on on youtube i think i know a lot of people might not be biggest fans of, of logan paul but i do typically follow their crew mike malak and um george janko i think are they're pretty good youtubers as well so i definitely follow that podcast for a lot of stuff i mean i feel like this is kind of stupid to say because everyone on youtube watches him but mr beast uh <laughs> I watch him because the videos are great and I watch him a lot of the time because I learn a lot from his videos on how to be a better YouTuber. Mm -hmm. um, his team is top notch when it comes to understanding YouTube and how to be, you know, engaging with the audience and, and really, you know, obviously videos are getting hundreds of millions of views. He's doing something right. So I think there's a lot to be learned from a YouTuber perspective from watching his channel. I also have a, a close friend, uh, Chucky, who works pretty much runs a lot of the channels for Mr. Beast. So um, I get a lot of tidbits from, from him on, you know, tips and tricks and stuff like that. So uh, I would say he's another guy I watch frequently. Anyway, Matt, thanks for taking time out of your busy day. I know you've got to get back into the NFTs, back into Discord and getting, <laughs> getting across it all. But thanks for kind of giving me an insight into who you are, how you got into it and all that. Yeah, thank you so much, man. Seriously, thanks for having me and uh, hope you guys enjoyed.